good, y'all? Dr. Trey Hana. So have you ever went to the store and you go into like the produce section and you see broccoli? Then you see organic broccoli. You know, okay. But then you see some blueberries, but then you see organic blueberries. And for some odd reason, all the organic products cost maybe a dollar more, two dollars more. And you're over here thinking, what in the hell is the difference between this product and this product? So today, what we're going to talk about is organic products really better or they're just finessing you? And why, if it's in your budget, you should try to purchase a little bit more organic products, especially if it's not breaking the bank. Okay? Hey guys. My name is Michelle Anita. Talia, Jazz, Marquita, I'm a physique. Physique, 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 so what does that mean? I'm gonna go ahead and hybridize a lot of plants. I'm gonna make sure this plant is as big as possible, as sweet as possible. That way we have a reoccurring customer. So for instance, that's why you see a lot of apples in America. They are big, they are juicy, they are very sweet. But if you go to South America, you go to Mexico, the apples are not as big. They're literally half the size. Why? They are not hybridized, they are organic. But because we're in America, especially if you're somebody who never left the country, you've never been exposed to this. Organic means that it's less processed. Just like bread. you never seen a bread tree before. you never seen a tortilla bush before. you never seen an orange juice oasis before, right? All of these things are processed foods. Kind of the same thing applies when it comes to fruits and vegetables. If you see organic fruit or vegetables, that means it's less tampered with. The ones that do not have organic on it, that means that this is the one that was kind of produced in a ideal situation. So they probably was in a greenhouse. They wasn't exposed to a lot of environmental factors. It was being sprayed by glyphosate and Roundup or pesticides, right? And ironically, these are the fruit and vegetables that you see in the store that looks beautiful. They got nothing wrong with it. They don't got them little scars and them brown marks on it. And you're like, Ugh, I don't want this apple. I want this one, the cute apple, right? As humans, we are people who cares about the aesthetics. Two things. If I see an apple that is perfectly green and has no marks on it, I want to pick up this apple versus this apple, which could possibly be organic, which costs a little bit more, but you see it got little scuffs and marks on it. You're like, I don't want this apple. Something's wrong with it, right? Here's the funny thing when it comes to organic things versus inorganic things, things that are GMO. That's what GMO means, genetically modified things, such as that beautiful apple that you're picking up, that one that you want to pick up, the one that probably smells better. The organic one is going to be more nutritious for you. Why? I'm going to give you all an analogy, ladies. No woman wants a clean cut all the way through man. Women naturally are attracted to men who got a little edge to them. It's something about them, right? He could take it there, but he chooses not to take it there. Versus a dude who makes $300,000 a year. He's clean cut. He never got a fight ever in his life. Little things like that, right? And the main reason why is because this person been through the fire before. This person seen some stuff before, right? So he can carry himself and adapt to different situations better than this clean cut dude. If a fight breaks out, he probably running away. Same thing applies with organic fruit versus inorganic fruit. Even though these are both fruit, the organic fruit was basically an environment where it has to kind of defend itself from bacteria, from insects by itself. It wasn't getting sprayed by pesticides that's going to basically prevent bugs and animals to tamper with. The main reason why farmers, they spray pesticides on plants is to protect the plants. So if a rabbit comes through, it's not going to just eat this one, it's going to stay away from it because something's off with this lettuce compared to this organic lettuce, right? This organic lettuce don't have as much things on it. The taste is not off, which is the pesticides. But here's the funny thing. When it comes to organic plants and organic fruits, they're going to be nutrient dense because they got to fend for themselves. So they're going to produce more of these phytonutrients, such as we all heard of antioxidants. We probably heard of polyphenols and flavanols. These are pesticides that the plant can produce by itself. 
And because it's producing it by itself, it's gonna be more of the things that when a human eats it, it's gonna be more nutritious, such as those antioxidants you all heard about, such as quercetin, such as luteolin, such as zeaxanthin that helps lower inflammation in the human body and actually makes your immune system works a little bit more efficiently. All of these things come from these plant compounds and because it's organic, it's gonna be a little bit more potent than when it's inorganic. Just like the human body, if you don't stress out the human body, it's not gonna adapt to its environmental factors. Just like a bubble boy. If somebody always been in a bubble, never goes outside, first thing he gets exposed to some sort of bacteria, he's not gonna thrive. He might die faster than somebody who's been exposed to it, right? Such as if you're lifting weights. If you're lifting weights and you're working out, if you ever had to be in a situation where you had to run away from a situation, you're going to be a little bit more better than somebody who's never been exposed to this situation day in their life. Just like fighting. If you was a woman that always got in fights all the time, you see a bar fight happening, you know that, okay, nobody better try me because I'm going to knock them out. <laughs> Versus somebody who's never been in a fight before. they never been adapted to that type of environmental factor. Same thing applies to fruit. You want to purchase more organic fruits and plants than the ones that don't even have the organic tag to it. But here's the thing. All food companies and produce companies kind of know this. So you know what they're going to do? They're going to throw that organic tag to everything. They're going to throw organic donuts, organic cereal. Believe it or not, you see things like that. They're going to say organic orange juice. But orange is organic. Orange juice i never seen in a while before. i never seen an orange juice carton just floating around in the sea. That's because it's inorganic. But because you're able to label anything in America, the Food and Drug Administration is not going to regulate that. I can put organic tortillas, make you really assume that it's organic. And because you heard all your life that organic is healthy, you just pick it up. You don't even think twice about it. But once again, i never seen a tortilla bush before. So is it really organic? The wheat is organic. Maybe not the product. The end result is not organic, okay? This is how you're gonna be able to differentiate the two. If you pick up that product and you look at the back, it should have more than three ingredients in it. So if you're picking up blueberries, it should say blueberries. If you're picking up some broccoli, it should say broccoli. And if you're picking up organic green beans, there should only be one ingredient. I know y'all probably can't see that, but it says literally organic green beans. But you're gonna realize that these green beans is not the cutest. They're not the most bright and light, right? And it looks like it got some little bar marks on it. These are going to be more potent than bird's eye green beans. They're not organic, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna also realize that for some odd reason, all the organic products, they expire faster than every other product because it's actually real. Vegetables got an expiration date to it. That bread that you're picking up, that organic bread that you pick up, that expires in four months, ask yourself, how in the hell is it produce and it expires in four months? Something's not adding up, but people's not thinking about that. You're just picking up bread and you see the organic tag and you think it's better, okay? So use common sense. The less ingredients, the better. If it's organic, it should have some marks on it. Because at the end of the day, it had to be grown from the earth and some type of animal or some type of insect probably try to tamper with it. But because it tried to tamper with it, what the plant is gonna do is gonna try to become more resilient and it's gonna stress out the plant, but it's good for us, all right? That's why organic products cost a little bit more. That's why these organic green beans cost a dollar more than the bird's eye green beans. Even like in the summertime, watermelon, we all know we all see a lot more watermelon in summertime, right? So if you're seeing watermelon in the spring, that doesn't make logical sense. We see more pumpkins in the fall time. So if you're seeing pumpkins in spring, that doesn't make any sense. It cannot be organic. So use your common sense. Google what type of fruits actually exist in nature that sprouted naturally at certain seasons and your body's going to agree with it more because it's actually real. All right. Hope y'all learned something today. That's your reset tip of the day. It's going to be safe snatch all the time. Not the summertime. Talk to you soon.